How many did it hatch? I have no idea. It's too hard to count. I'm just gonna start taking them out. This is crazy, okay. Look how little tiny. Okay, so we're gonna pinch in between their web foot to mark them because we're gonna put them with our layers for right now. So let's do the leftmost web. It doesn't hurt, it's like clipping fingernails. Okay. Hey cutie. So we're punching them just because we're gonna put with the layers and we need to know who's who. I think we're gonna have plenty of ices. Yeah. We were scared at first. That rooster, he's a fertile myrtle. That one's new. Does that rooster have a name? He's still a little bit wet. We need to call him Myrtle. Myrtle? <laughs> or Fertile Myrtle. Yeah, that one's still wet, Rebecca. I know. Okay. Josiah, I'll hand them to you and you hand them in there, so. okay? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. We need 17. Well, plus Jonah's, that's 20. So all we need out of that is 8 hens. You think we'll get 8 hens out of that? Yeah. yeah. I think the chances are pretty good. This poor guy. No. His he put, little head. He, he can put his head down, but he's just, like, just more comfortable. Yeah, he can. I think he's just like... Look at it. I was 21 days with my head back like that. Do you think that's a vitamin deficiency? Like wire neck? No, I think he was neck? in his, I think, wire neck? There's like a, okay. there's a thing. It's a vitamin deficiency. I think it was, he was in his egg Shell like, like that. that. It's my guess, but you could, look at that. He just is more comfortable, head up. Oh. All right. He can put it down though, so that's why it makes me think. Yeah. Let's get the, let's get some apple cider vinegar in that water. I'm gonna, I'm gonna adopt some of these ices. The boys had an idea to take, let's take a couple and see if that Jonah's mama hen will adopt them. Probably should do that at night, but then I was thinking, I'd kind of like to supervise it, because what if we did it at night and she rejected them and they, they, got, they got too cold. Oh, you know what? She might could adopt them because they're in this chicken tractor. It's not like yeah. they can go anywhere. See what she does. She's liking them. Put the other one in, John. Hold on, hold on. Let's just see what happens. See if she rejects them or takes them under. Whoa, they're so tiny. You yeah, see, her other ones are twice as big. It might be too late. Then we should put bigger chicks in there, Papa. They're going towards her. You know what the problem is going to be? These others are not really hanging out underneath her a lot. Yeah, but so these new ones are probably gonna get too cold. These chicks need warmth early on and this mama's other chicks are too old. They're not getting under her a lot. Just wait, just let's wait. Let's just see, see, play it out a little bit longer. Put the food right in front of these little chicks. Oh, look. Oh, the poor chick. Oh, the chicks are there. Okay, that's enough. See, the chicks just follow her. Oh, look, she's not. Hold on, hold on, watch. She's, she's, she, she likes to get the food for the chicks. Oh, they're learning how to eat. Oh, look. They're not done. They know what to do. Look. Let's leave them for a little while and see what happens. Sure. We probably don't have enough ices to try this experiment, so grab these little guys. You could switch them out for some of the layers. The ices fitting right in, already found his food. Hey, are you digging in there again, honey? Okay, you guys gonna put the older ones there? Okay. So, what would you say? Do you think she's accepting them? Uh, probably. But you think we should No, I don't think so. We're not following her around very much. Well, oh yeah, well I guess. Actually, they are. Hey, that one's doing good. That that brown one wants to go play. Yeah, and they all look about the same size. Besides, but Jonah's are a little bigger. Have you got the guinea eggs? Jonah, yeah, get the uh, guinea eggs. Okay. It's the evening, sort of, almost. We have guinea eggs, guys, and we want to put it under one. We've got another broody hen, Mike. Thank you very much from the member area, hooking me up with some fertilized guinea eggs. We have a broody. Is that how you're going out? Yeah. So first guys, before we do the guinea eggs, hold on. Yeah. Let's let it get a little bit darker. Let's go check on your chicks. See if your hen adopted them. 
<laughs> totally forgot to talk about our van in the update video yesterday. Whoa. Totally meant to. Not a bad fix. Not a bad fix. It was actually, I thought it was going to be so bad because it was affecting the, the, the power, the engine light was on, the drive light was blinking. It was bad. But thankfully we have good mechanics and they fixed it for like what a monthly car payment would be. So we haven't drove her into the ground completely yet. I forgot to show you guys this too, our strawberries from last year. Beauty has mulched this. Doesn't look this, this look nice. Hey, Laura, will you get out of the garden? Get out of the garden, a, come on. There's a red strawberry there. There is, you're red. already gonna get a fruit. This just popped, man. You just got a little bit of rain today, and this just exploded. <laughs> is that how it goes? It goes. Our persimmon tree is jamming right there. They're all up there under her. Look, they're down there. Look, Mama Hen has figured out a way to get up. <laughs> Look, she's got her three underneath her on the perch. The, you guys are gonna have to get those other two out and we're gonna have to put them back. <laughs> spoken in that out, out from underneath. It's the craziest thing. She's probably learned that trick because she's probably Are you mom you thinking the other one's under her? No, it's right here. Oh. Okay, so what I think happened is too far apart in age. How did all these guys do? Uh oh, why is there dry feed in that? Because there was no soap. Okay, Sorry. did we soak? Did we get some soaking? Uh, yes. Okay. How are these guys doing? Any dead? No. Pull yeah. up. Pull that yeah. further away. Oh, wow. They really like the hovers. All these birds were cuddled up in the corner. You see that? That's classic. That's classic chicken chicks are cold. Bunching up in the corner. This was off. And it so happens that, that you spilled water on that? Yes, but that might not be okay. the problem. It might not have been on. Well, well on. that could be it too, but it let's check. Bet it was super warm. I bet if you spilled water on it, I bet it blew the fuse. Yeah, look. We blew the fuse. Uh, uh, ooh, All right, let's go. Let's try it. Tell me if Can the light get out of the way. On. Get in, get out of the way. You can't see. Okay, that means it's going to heat up. Let's put both of them on. Yeah, it's starting to get heat out of it. These guys are happy, fed, water, warm. I'm glad we caught that. We came to check on the pigs. It was stinky. You guys get stinky real quick. So we added wood chips in the bottom. It smells much better. Gave them a little something to eat. Before we go to bed, um, let's put these guinea eggs under this broody hen. One, one, two. She's, she's a real birdie, guys. I'm not worried about her getting up for. You know, that's one of my original chickens. That's a permaculture chicken. How perfect. We tag these broody hens and save them anyway. Save a few of them anyway. All right, there you go, honey. Some guinea eggs. I don't think you guys can see that. What happened is, I've lifted this up, the hen puffed up. Uh, there's no eggs under it. She is broody. I um, easily put eight guinea eggs, fertile, underneath her. So my hope is she will hatch these guinea eggs. We will put them in a shock or not. We will build what I'm gonna call a turkey shawl and try to train these skinnies to come in. Cause look, those three guineas go up into that uh, walnut tree and that's what happened to the rest of our guineas. We used to have more than three. Okay, let's call it an evening. Big, big day tomorrow.